record in one place, but not in the other. All right, three, two, one. Let's get some butt kicks in, heels up. Right? If you can't do that, just go side to side. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Keep it going. Heels all the way to your butt. Take big steps to the sides. Right? Make sure you're pacing yourself. Keep moving. I just gotta get that timing down. Now what is that? Keep it going, man. You got a few seconds. Keep going. Just do a little of that. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to do alternating lunges, taking a step forward, push back with your heels, make sure you're switching legs. Try to catch your breath. If you haven't been here since last week, just start Monday. If, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to do the transition of week before I go that way. Everyone gets the eight weeks. Uh, you get an extra week. Good for you. That's just because you started early. Well, not early, but you started on time. Um, there will be some exercises that I will have to skip. For example, these lunges. Can't do this alone. Um, unfortunately, the week right before we started this, I got hurt. Three, two, ooh. And one. All right, we're going to do sumo squats, and we're going to get a nice little pulse out of the bottom. So we're going to squat, one, two, and back up. All right? One, two, back up. We're going to do a whole minute. Just make sure you're pushing those knees out, stretching those inner thighs.
Grab a little bit of water if you need some. I'm going to stretch out. Right arm out. Oh, you know what I've noticed in my experience as a trainer and switch training ladies is that, well, normally the ladies that I train. Their nail appointments are usually like every other week, possibly, right? So if that nail appointment holds on the training day, they, they will cancel, you know? <laughs> I lose two nails every time. Or whatever grooming appointment. And switch. I've learned not to say anything and just like, all right? Don't be upset when you're doing extra burpees when you come back. Well, they didn't know that part, that I, that's why I do it, but I think it's a message. Right arm over. Take some deep breaths. All right, now I feel like my quad is, and switch, waking up. Whew. Head to the side. And switch. I almost, almost became just naked. This <laughs> my commute was too was too much. Going two flights of stairs down here, right quiet, was quite difficult. I went to sleep after two with a mm, huge box in his hand. I was gonna miss it. And switch. My guy walked. Right now, right foot forward. You're gonna bend that knee. The other leg is completely straight. You're gonna reach down and hold. All right, we're gonna stretch. So, I think the video, uh, for some reason, is too high. So I'm moving. Apart, left hand, right foot. You're gonna rotate the torso, look at your hand, and you're gonna push back on that right hip. Keeping both legs straight, and you take a deep breath. You're breathing, you're breathing, and switch. All right, slowly up. Sound is on point, but the video is not. Um, we're just gonna have to deal with it because uh, we don't have time to be, you know, playing around with this stuff. All right, so we're gonna be doing two exercises back to back. We're gonna start with Romanian deadlifts (RDLs) for 45 seconds, and then we're gonna be doing narrow squats. We will need a pair of dumbbells, and you can use both. Uh, Doubles for the same exercise. Um, what else can I tell you? You probably will feel it on your arm because you, you, you're going to be holding uh, the doubles for a minute and 45 seconds. So, well, longer actually. There is no rest in between. Let me just get the dumbbells so I can show you what we're doing. Alright. So now, for the Romanian deadlifts, I want you to stand shoulder width apart. This video thing is really bothering me. Uh, shoulder width apart. We're going to keep the chest up. 
so your shoulder blades will be back. Now, as you're going down, you're sticking your chest out, there's a slight bend on your knee, and you're going to come back up. Alright, so I need you to have a slight bend on the knees, sticking the chest out, so your back is nice and straight, and you come right back up. You do not need to go all the way down to the floor, because then your back will round. Alright, I just want you to stick your, your chest out, come back up, just get to the, uh, right between the knee and the ankles, that will be a good height for it. Um, then, we're going to do narrow squats, where we're going to stand feet together, so feet are very close. Now, if your hands are getting too tired from gripping the dumbbells, you can grip the dumbbells, place them on your shoulders, so your hands get a little bit of a break, and you're just going to squat it, alright, like a front squat. But if you still want, you can still hold them on the side. Come back up. All right. So let's get it. We're going to do 60 seconds, or 45 seconds of the Romanian deadlifts, and 60 seconds of the narrow squats. No breaks. Back to back. Three rounds. After we finish the three rounds, then you get some water. All right. We get a break after. So let's go. Deadlifts. In three, two, one. Chest up and go. 45 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, definitely my video is behind. Woo! So behind, I just realized. Alright, we're gonna do 45 seconds. Oh, man. This is annoying. I want to get out. Three rounds, we're gonna Let's go, let's keep it going. Make sure you're sticking that chest out as we're going down. People are gonna take a look at you guys. Good you guys look. This is good. Alright, try not to go so low. Um, once you pass your knees and you're like in the middle of your shins, then you can come right back up. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. Three, two, one. Alright, we're gonna go and do those narrow squats. And three, two, one, chest up and squat it. Keep your heels on the floor, all right? And when you're standing up, when you come back up in that neutral position here, you're gonna squeeze your butt, all right? Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, get down on your squat, come back up, keep it going, keep going. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. It's really bothering me. The speed of this camera, and I think it has to do with the time. Doing 60 seconds of these. We're squatting. We're bringing the hips down. We're squatting, squatting, squatting. So as you're here, your butt gets all the way down. Bring your butt all the way down. All right. We're no longer doing deadlifts. All right. We switch exercise now. All the way down on the squat. And there we go. Then you're sitting on the toilet. That's my. That's the visual I want to get. I think the speed is we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna switch. We're going back to the deadlifts in three. Two, one, stick your chest out, but pretend you're picking something up, right? Come back up. So we do get a bend on the knees. Keep that chest out, sticking out, and come back up. All right, keep it going. It is good. Cool. When you're standing here, I don't want you to lean back. Don't lean back. You're hyperextending your back. I want you to stand up neutral, nice and straight. You're squeezing your glutes. You're squeezing your quads. That's all you need to do. Keep it going. As you guys are still going. Get my camera. Get this behind. 
think my video is behind my camera. The video is yeah, down in the head. Keep going. Two, one, back to squats, narrow squats, and three, two, one, go, squat it, butt all the way down. Remember, now the focus is on getting the butt down, and when you're standing up, again, we squeeze the glutes, we squeeze the quads, so squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, kind of like when you want to go pee. Man, my visuals today are... Seconds. In between, you want to get. Uh, you want to make the knees a little more difficult. What you have to do is um, increase the weight and get more repetitions in. Okay. Are you, my timer is literally ticking numbers. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right, one last round. Back to the deadlifts. Grab your dumbbells. Let's go. Three, well, you already got them. Three, two, one, and go. Deadlifts. Going. If you can hear me, keep it going. All right, here we go. We're back. We're back. Crack you guys. This time we're here. Come on, keep going. You're gonna feel these definitely on your lower back. All right, your lower back is weak. This is where you should be feeling it. And tomorrow. You're going to feel the soreness probably in the back of your thigh. 15 seconds. Your hips, get your hips down, butt down. Don't forget when you come back up, you squeeze here and there. Squeeze the butt and the quads. You give me 45 seconds. Uh, no, 60 seconds is enough. I'm, I'm off. See, I'm so off because I'm looking at myself and I'm like 15 seconds behind. And I'm still like. Where do you guys see me? 15 seconds behind or ahead or can you hear me 15 seconds ahead? Or my body is 15 seconds behind? All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is a good way to get you in, right? The next pair of exercises is gonna be a little, it's gonna burn. Three, two, one. Boom, get some water. Get a nice break, reserve it. Squeeze up, all right? All right. So like I mentioned, we're doing back and legs. Uh, for this one, you don't need a chair, but you could use the chair, all right? It will be, I think, more comfortable if you use the chair. And actually, um, I don't want to say more effective because it's still effective. But um, I think it comes more down to comfort. So I would prefer if you use the chair. I just can't show you this chair. Um, I 
I will try to show you with the bike. Let's see how that works. Um, but uh, the first exercises, uh, exercise we're going to be doing is going to be the split stand. So it's a split squat. We're going to be in this position. Now, if your balance sucks, okay, what you want to do is the bag leg, you want to go wider there.
uncontrollably stacked is what I mean. So your back is not rounded. You're not like this. Three, two, one, switch. Give it a little shake and move. Ready? Go. Let's go, let's go. Get lower, get lower. Oh, we're switching. Did we, did we do switch colors? Bring color dumbo, but I will make fun of your dumbo. Not that I'm making fun, but actually, they look very happy colors, except for that red. Three, two, one. All right, back to the chest flies. I mean, back flies, back flies. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Don't forget, I want you to stick your chest out and pull back where your shoulder blades can touch. Alright? Good. Come on. You want your chest parallel to the floor as you're standing. Alright? So it's parallel to the floor. Parallel. Alright? Oh, so let me tell you something. You're gonna hurt. I have a client. Yeah, her name is, I'm about to bleep your last name out. It's the same, she has the same name. But I'm like, why is she joining again? I was so confused. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Well, not again. I would just train online. All right, we got one more, right? Let's go. Pulsing. Ready, and go. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, she works for uh, Foxy. She's one of their uh, reporters. And please, guys, if you're looking for a girl, if you really want to work out, like she's already doing the online, now she wants to do the classes. <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Gotta get lower. This is your last round. Work on that front leg. You should feel that on the front of your thighs. All these exercises are really good. All the ones we've done for legs, they're good for your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. But when it comes to cell celluloid, um, you start building muscle around these areas, you know, you start to shred some fat around those areas, and then we get rid of the cellulite if that's an issue. I'm just mentioning that because that's always one of the things that I get asked for. Three, two, one, switch. Ready? Set and go. For those of you that don't know, I'm, I messed up my, my hips, my left, on the left leg. Well, I couldn't do this. I, I couldn't even lift the leg. I was just like, ah! now it's not so bad. When I was getting in my car, I was actually, I had to lift my leg to get in my car. And then we had the great idea of getting a higher car. I look like a little midget trying to hop on the car. Three, two, and one. Back flies. Ready? All right, come on. Let's go. Three, two, one. Keep that chin down as you're doing these. Don't look at the screen because you're going to um, strain your neck. So just tuck your chin in. Look straight down to the floor. Get the shoulder, shoulder blades back. Let them touch each other. Let the shoulder blades kiss. Too much. Three, two, one. You can always skip a set, but I think we're, we're at a good. Take a break. We're at a really good pace, uh, exercise-wise. Tomorrow we're going to be going into. So we're going to be going into this uh, second week. Uh, but after the fourth week, um, the program changes a bit, and we will start throwing in more cardio, um, either in between or towards the end of the workout just to get the heart rate up um, and burn more calories. We can still burn quite a, few, a good amount of calories with just 
weightlifting, but you have to make sure that you're using weights that are pretty challenging, right? Um, that they're making you work. So you have like three pounds and you think, oh, I'm just gonna do like 500 and no. You need to add some weight, you're not gonna get muscular for a drop set, it's fast. You're not gonna look like a bodybuilder with, you know, eight weeks of training. You need to put a lot of years into it. Moving on. All right, we're gonna be doing walking lunges. If you can't do walking lunges because you don't have enough space, I'll tell you what you're gonna be doing. We're gonna hold a pair of dumbbells, right? On your hands, hold your dumbbells. And you're gonna step forward, lunge, keep moving. And you keep it going, right? If you can't do walking lunges, all you're gonna be doing is alternating forward lunges. So you're gonna step forward, on lunge, and you're gonna push back with your heel. Make sure when you're pushing back, you're not using your toes to push back because then the focus is on your calf. You don't wanna work the calf. You wanna work all the ends up here. So you get here, heel, push, but you make it in one movement. Boom, all right? So we're gonna be alternating legs if you cannot do the walking lunges. That's if you can. It's gonna be 60 seconds. So when you hear me say 30, uh, oh no, we're alternating legs. Never mind. Just keep alternating legs. Um, right after that, we're gonna do back routes. These are not back flies, but you are in a very similar position. We are not using a chair for these, right? So we are here, we're holding dumbbells. So shoulder width apart, you're sticking your chest out, dumbbells hanging, you're gonna pull back, squeeze back here for half a second to a second, bring it back down, pull and squeeze. So the way it should look is hold. So you're working your biceps and you're working your back. You're gonna definitely feel it on your lower back. So that's just for 30 seconds, and then we go back to the walking lunges. All right, walking lunges, 60 seconds. Back rows, 30 seconds. I will give you if you're if you're doing legs, you're, the weights for the legs should be a lot heavier than what you're using for your arms. So grab your heavy weights for the legs, and then. Grab the lighter weights for the arm. I will give you enough time to hold up so you can transition in between. Ready? Three, two, one. Walking lunges. Let's go. 60 seconds. Or alternating lunges where we are stepping forward. Boom. And switching legs, right? Make sure you're pushing back with your heel if you're doing the alternating lunges. If you have some knee issues, let me know. Outside of class, send me a message. Hey, I'm broken. My knees don't work the right way. I need an oil change. What should I do? I will let you know. I have a, I have a stretching video for your knees, which will help you a lot. Did you hear that, Lita? It'll help you a lot when it comes to knee pain. It's not just like, oh, my knee hurts, and then you skip. No. You got to foam roll. You got to stretch. Everyone, I just do all right, so if you have knee pain, there's a few things you can actually do to get that uh, taken care of. Uh, especially if you're sitting for long periods of time at work or you're standing for long periods of time. Either way, your muscles would always get tight if you're doing something for too long. So if you're standing for too long, it's bad. If you're sitting for too long, it's bad. So there's like, you know, you got to balance it out. Almost there. You're looking good. You're looking good. I'm getting ready for the holidays. I'm getting ready for that Thanksgiving dinner. Wear that dress. See family. You're like, damn girl, what you been doing? Three, <laughs> two, one. All right. Back rows. Let's go. Come on. Three, two, one. Pulling back. Remember, it's not a fly. We're gonna. T I want those elbows tucked in, tucked in uh, against your ribs. All right. So there you go. Good, good, good. You guys look good. You look good. All right. So we're gonna be doing 30 seconds of these. Um, you gotta back up because it's coming all up on your face. Um, yeah, 30 seconds. If you feel like.
if your lower back is too tight, just drop the dumbbells and get a little stretch in. All right, just loosen up the back. Don't try to push to the point where you're going to get a cramp on your lower back, and then you can't do anything for the next couple of days. Just loosen up the stretches. It's been a while since you worked out. If it has been, three, two, and one. Right back into the walking lunges. If you feel like your hands, the grip of your hands are getting too tight, place them on your shoulders. Let the shoulders do some work. Ready? And go. Let's go. Walking lunges or alternating lunges. Whatever you decide to do, let's go. All right. And let's try to get that back knee, the back knee, as low as you can, but do not hit the floor. Do not hit the floor. why they don't want to get up. Disappointment and all the nonsense that I can't speak. And time! Ooh, we went over by three seconds. Now, was that three rounds? That, that, no, no. Was it? Speak to me, people! Was that two? Alright, let's go. Two. We gotta believe Jennifer because the other two, I, I don't trust them. You know? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> and go. We had experiences when some of them say two, others say three, so. I gotta say, usually Lita is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good with the numbers here. No offense, Anna. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you gotta shut up, man. It's, 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 I'm just, you know, writing the email that I'm gonna send out to the <laughs> to the other people. <laughs> Already writing it. thing is, you can't ask for something. And you know what's the, the, the best part is? That it just wasn't one person, you know? <laughs> if it would have been one person, that person to be shut up, I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I don't pay attention to this. Let's go. What do you think? What do you think? And they're not. They didn't shut up. Just give me a shot. Let's go. Pushing me to do some more work. 
dumbbell, right? Over your head, same thing, and you're gonna swing that dumbbell as hard as you can, and that weight is gonna shoot you back up. Just make sure, like I always tell you, don't let go of it, all right? Glute bridge, I'm gonna do them without the weight. I don't know, maybe I could try something a little lazy here for this kid. Let's, let's make it work, all right? We're gonna go for 60 seconds on the glute bridge. Ready, 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 let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Up and squeeze back down. Up, <laughs> up and squeeze back down. Um, yeah, make sure you hold it up here for half a second, all right? So you just go hold back down. So you're getting your hip and back off the floor and you're just basically on the upper part of your back and shoulders. Keep it going. Make sure when you're doing the glute bridge, if you take a look at your knees, make sure your knees are not coming inward, all right? They're not like buckling in, but they are aligned with your toes, all right? And when you do that, perfect. Is that a pizza salad on your palm? I have one too, actually. Where is it? I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's right here. Fifteen seconds. Is that the green? I think I have one in here. I don't even know where I went. Three, two, one. We're gonna do sit ups. Especially when you're 
you work on that, you know, you, you should know how difficult it is to do certain things. And one thing, me and a couple of other colleagues, uh, uh, we, we all concluded the same thing. Three, two, one, back to sit up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Keep those hands on your shoulders if you can. And if you can't, that's all right. Keep moving. So, going back to this girl, we all included the same thing. All she has to focus is on two things. Consistency and just building the habit, right? So, for example, you're trying to get back in shape. All you have to focus on is scheduling your workouts, which is something I already, you know, I'm doing for you. We do Monday through Wednesday, back to back, that's fine. And then you use a fourth day to do something on your own, like some sort of cardio or go for a walk, right? So we're telling her, all you have to do is choose three days out of the seven. And preferably for the day in between to rest and then you rest for those two days. So basically do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then rest you know, all the other days. And just to focus on, on 10 minutes of walking. Obviously, stop and you can walk 30 seconds, stop, walk another 30 seconds, stop. And that alone, you might, if she could do that for like three, four weeks, <laughs> you believe it or not, she will lose so much weight, even if she doesn't change her diet for the beginning, right? Because right now, it's just like focus on the very basic things because that's something that she doesn't do. So, and it also translates for every, everyone else. So if you guys are struggling to stick to your workouts, just try to stick, just try to focus on this. Forget about the diet, forget about the supplements, forget about all that crap. And just focus on doing the workout X amount of days throughout the week. And then you're going to start seeing some changes. Once you get down, like, okay, I, I've been working out consistently for eight weeks. I haven't missed a workout, and you know you're really consistent, especially if you haven't missed a workout. Because normally what tends to happen is, once you're doing these long challenges, uh, things start to come up, and you're like, oh yeah, I can skip it today. Three, two, one. One more round, let's go. Last round, ready, set, and go. Let's go, 60 seconds. Friend, what happened? Why did my computer? No, no, what happened? Okay, I'm gonna have to. What just happened? Please tell me. Please tell me. What just happened? What just happened? What's going on? Oh God. I'm here. <laughs> all right, all right. Can you? Oh, it's just that. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can hear me, right? And time, all right. Let's go and do. Um, let's go and do the last set of setups. So what happened was, <laughs> let's go. Sorry, grab you guys here. Sit ups in three. I'll tell you everything. Go, ready? <laughs> Sit and go. <laughs> so what happened was, um, <laughs> oh God, this is so bad. Um, my laptop, I was using not my charger, but a race charger because I left my charger in the office and my laptop 
charging it, but it was dying faster than what it was charging. So the lock got that. I mean, the class is still recording there, so no worries. You're going to hear me drop, uh, I don't know if I said an F-bomb or, <laughs> but I can't see you guys. I think I can only see who's my only see. I don't know. Keep going. You're almost there. Well, we're almost done anyways, because this is our last set, but uh, I'm actually laying down. Oh, wait, let's do some sit-ups while I lay down, and I'm holding, I should remember this stuff. I'm holding the, the cell phone, actually. Camera is still still recording, so that's good. <laughs> Always something. Oh my god! That planner. I'm such a bad planner. Mm -hmm. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So we're gonna stretch. I'm gonna see if I can. Well, we got this. We got this. There we go. There we go. That's why we got a backup. Backup. All right, we're gonna stand up. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Cause I want to make sure that you guys can see me. Let me see. I'm sure you can see me, right? All right. Right on out. Can you see me or not? Do you see me? Yes. No. Um. No. Oh, you don't. Oh. We're gonna be stretching. Hold on, don't don't leave me. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just setting those things up. Oh, all right, all right, please. Good one. So, <laughs> is this good? God, it's a little demanding there. All right, right around. <laughs> I feel like I just got in trouble. All right, I was just trying to, you know, get in both cameras, so we're gonna be good. And switch. Right arm across. So because I, I have to stand closer to, to the phone, the other camera, you, you can only see like, you can't see my face. You're not missing much. All right, right arm over, over your head. Let me see if I can put this in and just show the other camera. And switch. Together. Here we go. Now we're gonna stretch those legs out. We're gonna keep those legs completely straight. Why is this thing blurring out? Alright, slowly up. We're gonna do right foot. Bend that knee. Keep the legs. Point your toes towards you. Reach down. Oh, you couldn't see me because I was farther away, so it was blurring me out. Come on, switch. That's not the right thing. All right, back up. We're going to stretch the quad. Grab, grab, grab the quads there. It was a pretty good class, not intense, just, you know, getting you back in the groove, even though some of you shouldn't be taking the class, but, you know, I'm not going to judge. And switch. I'm not listening to the doctor. That would be me, also. Keep my hip. All right, legs apart. Left hand, right foot, we're going to push that uh, right hip back. Rotate the torso, look at your hand. Well, it's very unfortunate we had to finish this way. And switch with the camera not, you know, because I can't, I can only see one person right now. And up. We're going to stretch the neck. We're going to end up with a nice neck stretch. Make sure you're, you're good. And switch. All right. We are done. Welcome back to those of you who just came back. Welcome to 
those of you that just joined us, and enjoy your Sunday, all right? Relax. It's kind of hot. Enjoy, enjoy the weekend, guys. Whatever's left of it. Thank you. Bye, Jennifer. Thank you. Sorry for the S bomb. It wasn't an S. It was an S, as they say. Um, I was not expecting the laptop to die. Just want to thank you guys for <laughs> thank you guys for taking the classes. It's always a pleasure. A little bit upset that you know most people had the classes for the Sunday trivia game show. Tomorrow, I think.